The Carnival of the Animals by Camille Saint-Saëns. New verses by Jack Perlatsky. Recited by the author. Welcome to our carnival, where birds and beasts and such behave a lot like people do. At times, a bit too much. You'll meet the regal lion and the captivating swan, the irritating donkeys that prattle on and on. You'll meet a tortoise and some fish with undulating fins. Welcome to our carnival. The music now begins. The Lion It's evident the lion is king, in charge of almost everything. Avoid the beast at any cost, for if you fail, then all is lost. If you should hear the lion cough, don't hesitate to hurry off. And if you hear his frightful roars, Remove yourself to distant shores. The lordly lion longs to sup on living prey and chew it up. Try not to fall within his sight, lest he dispatch you bite by bite. Besides his royal magnificence, the lion possesses common sense and manages to labor less than every lovely lioness. Rooster and Hens The hens all rush around the yard. They hurry, hurry, hurry. They peck, 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 and cluck, cluck, cluck. They scurry, scurry, scurry. They fuss and fret and fret and fuss with feathers in a flurry until they rest upon their nest and cease their senseless worry. The hens each lay a single egg, then sit on it, contented. The rooster treats this news as though it was unprecedented. With puffed-up chest he crows and crows till he appears demented. He seems to think a chicken egg was something he invented.
donkeys of the wild. They haven't any manners, and they haven't any sense. There's not a word that anyone can say in their defense. Their ways are so unsavory they'll never get ahead. They are the donkeys of the wild. That's all that need be said. Tortoise. The tortoise lugs his house about and lumbers on all fours. He clearly never seems to be completely out of doors. The tortoise is a cautious sort, not known for being bold, and so the tortoise lives to be exceptionally old. The tortoise never hurries and is happily resigned to being late for dinner and to being left behind. The tortoise doesn't ask for more if he can do with less. Perhaps that is the secret of the tortoise's success. Elephants. An elephant never forgets to remember the things he remembers to never forget. An elephant knows that it snows in December, that summer is warmer and water is wet. An elephant's ears are a genuine wonder. An elephant's trunk is an elephant's pride. His footfalls are often mistaken for thunder. If you're in the neighborhood, do step aside. When elephants gather, the ground starts to tremble beneath the great weight of their ponderous feet. Be glad there are elephants left to assemble. Without them, our planet would feel incomplete.
kangaroos. This fact is essential about kangaroos. They hop energetically, just as they choose. They hop over rocks, over fences and streams, and probably hop in their kangaroo dreams. When they aren't sleeping or swallowing food, they hop and they hop as though being pursued, for hopping's an action they cannot refuse. This fact is essential about kangaroos. Personages with Long Ears They love to loudly bray and bray, and bray away both night and day. Determine that their brays be heard, they're both obnoxious and absurd. They bray when it is calm and warm, they bray throughout a raging storm. To fill the world with coarse hee-haws, sometimes without the briefest pause appears to be their only cause. The Cuckoo Oh, cuckoo, 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 we must number you among those creatures with no interest in parenting their young. You slyly lay your egg within some smaller bird's abode, thus demonstrating that you lack the slightest moral code. Oh, cuckoo, 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 it's no wonder you're reviled permitting that unwitting bird to cultivate your child.
birds. They flitter here, they flitter there, enjoying every breeze, and twitter songs of happiness amid the sheltering trees. They build their nests, they hatch their eggs, they warble as they thrive. With every note they tell the world it's good to be alive. Pianists. Practice, 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 our piano teacher screeches. We practice, 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 but we can't play what she teaches. Although we try our very best on every single scale, we always seem to fumble and our little fingers fail. But we practice, 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 as she screeches, screeches, screeches. And if we keep on practicing, we'll soon play what she teaches. Fossils. Fossils, you entirely lack the basic knack of coming back. For fossils, you're extinct, and so there's nowhere left for you to go. Poor fossils, long without a skin, today you simply don't fit in. One wonders if you were surprised to find that you'd been fossilized. <laughs> Thank you. 
the swan. The stately and beguiling swan glides slowly on the lake, with little but a ripple in her evanescent wake. Although she has no song to sing, no words that she can say, she's perfectly exquisite in her aqueous ballet. The swan is grand and glorious, she's poised at every turn, epitomizing elegance no other bird can learn. Though some may say she's just a swan and fairly commonplace, she's positively nonpareil at demonstrating grace. Our carnival is ending soon, as all things must in time. The music's almost over. We approach the final rhyme. In moments, all the animals will take their parting bow. We hope you'll visit us again, but say farewell for now. <laughs>